Hello Virgo, I am Jojen Hummingbird. I am with the Footsteps to Peace. I am an intuitive channel, astrologer, Reiki master, and a spiritual life coach. If anything I say in today's reading resonates with you and you would like to book your own personal reading with me, you can head over to my website, which is jojendivinity.com. That is J-O-G-E-N-D-I-V-I-N-I-T-Y.com. And you can click on the offerings tab to take a look at everything I have available. So I want to jump on here and give my Virgo friends a quick message. So let's take a look at the cards we had fly out for you. So we have full moon and Aries, cool your emotions. This came up for our Leo friends. Actually, this is super awesome. Oh, and then right, wow, we have three of the same cards that we had for our Leo friends. We also have full moon and Taurus, detoxify. And then last quarter moon and Capricorn, leave the past behind. How interesting that we have three of the same cards from Leo pulled for Virgo. So in the energy for my Virgo friends, I definitely feel like a very similar message to my Leo friends. Not in the sense that this isn't, this just doesn't feel as centered around inner child for my Virgo friends. This definitely feels more centered around like the earthly energy because we do have Taurus and Capricorn, your two other earth sign family members right here. So this definitely feels a little bit more earthly, mundane, practical to-do list, uh, routine, things like that. This definitely feels like you are leaving a past version of yourself behind, a past version of your routine. Um, with this last quarter moon, this is waning off of the full moon and going into the new moon. And that is a perfect time to plant seeds. This is a really good time to let some things not just die, but let some things sort of just go. Let some things be what they are, leave them as they are, as opposed to trying to change them or just trying to bring them into the living light of awareness to alchemize them and transcend them. That's more the full moon energy. We are following up with these two full moon cards, however, but in regards to the last quarter, I want to urge my Virgo friends to not not to get caught up in your shadow realm or not to go deeper into your subconscious and get into the dark side of your psyche, but to not ignore it either. Not to put it aside for the sake of your productivity, not to put it aside because it doesn't fit into your routine or you don't have time for your emotions. That's not true. You can make time. You're a Virgo. You know exactly how to make time for shit. So if you can cool the emotional charge that you have around taking care of yourself right now, if you can cool the emotional charge that festers within you whenever you think of the overwhelming idea of having to fit another thing into your to-do list that includes actually taking care of you instead of taking care of the reality around you. This isn't for all of my Virgo friends. It, de it definitely depends on what placements you have, uh, but this is a general reading. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But this definitely feels like this is a message for my Virgo friends that are like kind of caught in the trap of other people outside of them being their reality as opposed to the reality that's going on inside of them being their reality. So with that Taurus energy here too, that's the comfort zone in astrology. So this being the full moon to toxify, this is a really good time to like let go of those toxic patterns of uh, whether it's like self-sabotaging mechanisms of people pleasing or whether it's uh, you financially investing too much into something that isn't like providing immediate financial reciprocity like you're if uh you're funding somebody else's business or if you um maybe you work for a company or you work for uh like a small business and like i don't know why that's so specific like you work for a small business and you're not getting the money out that you're like putting in like you're putting in all your energy and your effort like this virgo like routine like it, it just feels like this very the mercurian like fast moving high quick thinking analytical side of you that's really benefiting from this stimulus of the job or the effort or the work or whatever you're doing or whatever the situation is but this feels like you're not getting the energetic reciprocity or the financial reciprocity because this is tourist energy this is second house finances all that kind of shit so this is it, it could pertain to finances for some of you but this definitely feels a little bit more like uh like an energy thing for a lot of you maybe an emotional thing especially with this cool your emotions with the full moon and aries so i want to pull one more card for my virgo friends and just see what we there we go full moon and libra find a balance all this full moon energy this is really good like you can really release a lot of things 
like we were talking about letting things die with the dark side, but bringing a lot of loving awareness to the things that actually need to die as opposed to like judging them for like whatever inconvenience they're providing in your life. This is a really good time to find like balance and harmony. We have the two Venus ruled signs here. We have Venus rulers both right here with the full moon energy. So this is definitely like, I feel a lot of feminine goddess energy moving through for my Virgo friends right now. And as like as feminine as the like sign of the maiden you would think they would be they're ruled by mercury which is a very very masculine energy gemini is the masculine of mercury and virgo is the feminine of mercury but Mer virgo in and of itself is still a very masculine functioning sign so for the feminine energy to be so present for virgo not that it's like off-putting or challenging but it's not uh, it, it, it's ruled by Mercury. So they're all about the mind. They're not so much about the heart as the feminine is. They're not so much about the womb the way the feminine is because they're the maiden. They're sovereign. They don't want anybody having a part of this. Like not in the sense that they are the virgin. They're not having sex. Like a virgin in its true form meant that she doesn't have a husband. She's not married off and that her father said she could sign a document that says she has land. So that's nothing to do with having sex. She could have as much sex as she wanted to. It's just a matter. She's not bearing any man's child and she's not signed off to a man she has free sovereign will of her own choice of her own life of her own fate which is exactly the archetype of virgo you are in control of that you're fighting the good fight so like so to speak in so many uncertain terms but the goddess energy coming through for that is quote unquote the challenging part it's trusting the energy it's trusting the timing it's trusting the ability to let go or the guidance to let go finding that balance finding that harmony but also being able to find comfort within the ability to let go and cool the emotional charge of this like let go leave that behind this isn't about like your emotional shit anymore this isn't about what is stirring you up this is about are you okay? Are you well? Are you like clearing anything that is not serving you? Are you letting go of emotional attachments that are draining your energy? Are you actually fulfilling the Virgo archetype? Are you serving yourself? Are you being in devotion to yourself as opposed to a picture or an idea of what you are involved in okay so that's the message that i have for my virgo friends so thank you guys so much for watching if you resonated go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the footsteps of peace and don't forget to click that notification bell so you are notified every time we upload a new video for you and then again if you are interested in that personal reading with me all of my information is down below in the description so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one many blessings